Are Americans prepared to spend hundreds of billions deporting the 11 million plus illegals who have snuck into our country? So asks Left Libertarian Magazine Reason in an article trying to scare Americans off deportation. They cite several cost estimates that cluster around $150 billion, or 14000 per migrant, which come from both the left-wing Center for American Progress and the pro-deportation Center for Immigration Studies. Now, it's worth noting that's roughly 10 times what the border wall would have cost an ounce of prevention every time. There are, of course, higher estimates from the more left-wing bits of academia. Penn Wharton, for example, is closer to $400 billion. These higher estimates get there by counting the wages of the migrant, which is deceptive for two reasons. First, the wages went to the migrant, not to taxpayers. He used it for haircuts or rent on a place an American could not live, or he sent it home in remittances. The more important reason is that deporting migrants creates jobs for Americans. To see why, imagine that an American would happily mow lawns for 20 bucks an hour, but he's undercut by an illegal at 12 now, if that illegal goes home, the left calls it a $12 loss to the economy. But by their logic, it's actually an $8 gain. Lose 12, gain 20. In other words, we lost the Mexican lawnmower, but we gained an American lawnmower who is no longer playing Xbox in mom's basement. Moreover, if that American was on welfare, now he can get off. And if that Mexican was on welfare, which is likely since most illegals are, the welfare rolls just plunge. And that brings us to the other side of the deportation debate, the benefits. After all, we accept hundreds of thousands of legal immigrants per year, chosen by whether they will contribute to our society. Those who pass do indeed tend to have higher incomes, create more businesses, and commit less crime. Illegals are a completely different story, because they are, by definition, people who would not have passed those standards. Telling this up, according to the CIS, the lifetime drain just on taxpayers is roughly $68,000 per illegal. Compare that to the deportation costs of 14. That comes to an inflation-adjusted $986 billion in fiscal costs for the deportees in question. In other words, it is seven times more expensive not to deport. Why? Because 70% of illegals have no education beyond high school, and they make, quote, extensive use of welfare. 59% of illegal-headed households use one or more major welfare program, often illegally. Keep in mind that's not including Medicaid, which many states give to illegals for free, nor EITC, where illegals can get 50 cents from taxpayers for every dollar they're paid, paid illegally, mind. Also keep in mind, that's only fiscal costs. It doesn't include the crime nor the collateral damage from 11 million overwhelmingly left-wing voters imposing socialism on the American people who never invited them in the first place. The small government Reagan utopia of California being the poster child. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. Illegal immigration is now the number two voter issue after the economy, inflation and jobs. As a Trump victory appears more and more likely, the left's propaganda factories ramping up to try and turn Americans against deportation. The elite thinks it will work since their only experience with illegals is cheap lawnmowers and nannies. Voters, on the other hand, can see with their own eyes the crowded schools, the packed shelters, kicking out veterans and elderly, the dangerous streets, and the trillions in welfare. To fix all that, $150 billion is the deal of the century. A new episode of the podcast is up. Check it out at petersanange.com. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.